We want to, to bless the Lord for giving us this time. We have been in lockdown for a long time, almost six months. It was a very, very difficult time, but the Lord was good. Some of you have lost their relatives, but we thank God because He's still the Lord. And again, a lot of things happen outside and inside the country, 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 the Tenge oku nene kwa bachaba lalayo. Koto wake kwa basindi swayo. Tina aba. Say Lord Jesus. Masiti nko su Jesu. I receive your word. Salam ke elizu lako. Egamen lengo su Jesu. In the name of Jesus. Isigelele. Bless it. In Jesus name. Egamen liga Jesu. Amen. Amen. The pentel of altars. Utaba lwez bingele. I want to speak about that. Ifunu kuteta nga londo na msaji. The battle of altars. Utaba kanyi mfazwe. Yes bingele. We spoke long ago about altars. Sateta bazolona kutala siteta ngez bingele. 
I trained and taught people how to pray. I spoke about kinds of altars. The altars that are important in the house of God. We said there is a bronze altar. And there is a, an altar of incense. The bronze altar. It stays outside the gate. So Jesus was crucified outside the gate. And inside the temple we find the altar of incense. This one is for the worshippers. Say Amen. I'm just reminding you of those things. But now, we have to speak because of what God spoke for the fulfillment of shining on the word for this month that you are going to shine say I receive we said it's a month for our sons and daughters to shine you will shine something must happen in your life there must be a change somebody must move from level to another level things must change say amen. amen God will speak and a human being has to receive and God's word will manifest in your life so the battle of altars it has got power if you know better about the spiritual things. That is why even if God spoke but there are altars that will be against of what God has spoken. The moment you are born, you have entered a battle of altars. As long as you are born on earth, you have entered in the battle of altars. Somebody say, I receive. Somebody say, I receive. Men must have a decision in his mind that I will overcome every altar that is against me. Because there are altars against you. That is why you have to accept Jesus Christ. You must know him as the Lord and the personal savior of your life. Why? The cross where he was crucified is the altar of believers. Say amen. It is the altar of the saints. It is the altar of the saints. There is a song that says, When Zanwele Amakolo, Yes, Lord, you make the, all the believers holy. So the cross is the altar for the saints. It is the altar for the church. But because of 
times we live in all people are born again in our days there is no one who is not born again you find yourself getting battles against those who are born again you must know that it will never change say amen say amen there are people who don't want to see you going to heaven one day they want to see you perishing there are altars they have been built to attack people so that they don't go to heaven say amen say amen so the cross is our altar for believers so that no matter what the enemy has spoken against you but you hold on on the cross you must hold on on the cross. It is not an easy thing. Jesus said, if anyone wants to follow me, he must take his cross and follow me. You have your cross because you follow Jesus who went across. Victory over evil altars. I said to people, one must have his altar. You must have your all. Jesus said, if you want to follow me, take your cross and follow me. I say it's not easy but it's possible. It means leave the things of this world. You are designed to win the battles. As long as your mind is put in the right place you need to focus the wall of yourself into what God is saying. You are more powerful when you are in focus. But the moment you are disturbed, you lose the power. So altars, they've got power to remote your life. So the altar of the cross, if your focus is on Jesus, it has got power to keep you on focus and to get what God has assigned for your life. Say amen. The same applies the altars of the enemy. They've got power to remote you and change you and change your focus and change your mind man is remoted by your altars you are remoted by a certain altar an altar can keep you not to go forward but you remain in one place but our altar is being a little set. It has got power. Yes, Lord Jesus. It has got power. It has got power. Paul says Paulus, the message of the cross. It is foolish to those who are perishing. But to us, it is the power. It is the power. There are people today before 
Before we go forward, the power of the cross will pull them out. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, the power of the cross. I don't care what kind of an altar is holding you. But this month, the power of the altar, the altar of the cross, is will pull you out. You and your children, you, your finances, your life, your job will be pulled from the hands of the evil altar. I attend about time. Whether they like it or not. Why? Paul says it is the power to us. Good. This makes us not to fear. Paul says when he finds the Corinthians busy with nonsenses, he says to them, I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus and Him crucified. He said, I know nothing about you. And I don't want to know anything. I want to know Jesus. And him crucified. Why? When he was in that altar, he was a sacrifice. One will have a question. What is the use of an altar? When somebody fights your life, he goes to the altar. He drops a sacrifice. Tides. They are not sacrifices. They go to God. But sacrifice. It goes to the altar. Tides. They go to God. But sacrifices. They go to the altar. And when it arrives there. It causes the divine. To appear. An altar. It's where sacrifices are taken to. And when they arrive, they make the divine to, uh, to be in speed. In the land of the spirit, how do we activate things? We go to the earth. So the blood of Jesus 2,000 years ago when it was shed in the cross so we are going to and everything and the desires of the Ethiopian spirit they were taken to mm. yes Lord they were gone Today, I feel the anointing of God. The blood of Jesus that was shed long ago when it dropped what the enemy did against you. It lost the power. What is left now is to enforce the victory. The victory of of Calvary. Somebody say I receive. Somebody say I receive. So when somebody finds you, he visits the altar. He drops something there. Altars become more powerful through blood. That is why in our days there is too much of kidnapping killed of ladies, children, men. 
huko gengoko kubiwa kwenye nokta yetu ngenkani kwa bandwana na matoto na bafaa there is an altar somewhere ikoni sibingelelo lokuba kuphina it demands blood esifuni gazi ngenka it fights the blood of jesus ethi gengoko lilwa negazi likaye because in the altar kuba esibingelelwe the word altar means slaughter Eli kama ke liti isibingelelo ithetha ukuqhezwa something must be slaughtered mayi bekhona into eqhelwa that is why iyo lento some of you abanye bento there is an altar that desire them so you call this being esibafuna they desire your children they befuna abantwana be they desire your husband they befuna futhi abayeni be they desire anybody in your family abani na oselusaphwene la is pesty of your blood oba banqanelwe igazi lakho Altars need blood. Is being a little of the thing it can. Some altars as as you is being a more thirsty of the children young so children. So in an an a like as labandwa. I spoke to Islana. He got that to pay a month. He said stop putting your children on Facebook. Because there are snakes operating on Facebook. So if a certain altar sees your child and its desires So the devil will release demons to someone's mind who will harass your child. Because Facebook exposes you everywhere. It's better WhatsApp because WhatsApp has got a status as only for people you know uba ke ubhedela ungcona ke lento ukuthi ngo whatsapp kuba kaloku yona inala lento ukuthi asi status othi kibonakala kubantu obazi but facebook kodwa yena exposes you to your enemies uthi akubone kalise exposes you to everybody nakuwa wonke uba and many people abantu abaninzi have taken their children to facebook bathe bathatha abantu ala baba bafaka of and the enemy knows this child why a foot to chaba luwe luma i said hide your children don't put them on facebook Because, because the altars they don't just take any blood depending are you desired by that altar so you must hide your children there are altars that are testing of children so it's a time for holy people to rely on their holy altar so our altar has got power over these altars that are testing of blood but the church they love the things of the world when God hides them they expose them they don't want to be in the will of God God protects them they go and expose them I spoke and said in the Facebook you rather put a message than to put your child or yourself because somebody is looking you many more especially on females they will put themselves with the chest outside They like to do that. The problem is they don't know how evilness is outside. It's a time to call our altar. So altars They need blood including my blood there are people who are looking my blood but they will never get it there are people who are looking your blood but they will never get it depending are you hidden in the cross 
Are you hidden in the cross? Ufisiwe ne mngamlezwe. Bonga batashe mngamlezwe. The old those that are hidden in the cross. They are safe. Ona bakuseleki. They are safe. Bakuseleki. They are safe. Waye bakuseleki. Why? Goba. Witches. Ama kwiga. Wizard. Ama kwiga. They go to the altar of evilness. Bati baye kwispingelelo sobu ubi. So they are born again. Abo ba zelo ngogu. So they go to church. Lao baba ya mkonze. But they visit evil altars. Kota bati baye kwispingelelo sobu mnyama. And if you are not rooted in your altar. Ukubake ngogu wa ubetelele kanga kwispingelelo. Bingelelo sako The altar of the cross Is bingelelo so mngamlezo As evilness they desire against you Ububi obabu ngwenela yungo kukasele nawe Can pull you out of security Usenokti kukusu se kukuseleke You find yourself walking in a zone that has got danger for your life Uzbonu wahamba kwe mimansha enobungo uzibobo miba Some other people are at your work Abanyeba sam seven zinu hako They want to kill you but if you hold on the altar of the cross you will see them scattering we had a serious deliverance in Islam before we go many people people you are working with they don't desire you to succeed in life I'm speaking with this you use, you use the same computer with them Last week I moved here from East from Queenstown to East London I was driving when I made a call I find them that they are still in the church They are still delivering people from half past twelve I had to enter in East London in the church and deliver From half past twelve till half past six and demons that are fighting there are people you are working with they don't want you to succeed they paid sacrifices so that you stuck they paid their money is there in the altar of heaviness. With your name. But today. The power of the cross. In the name of Jesus. Altars. Can remote you. Can remote your marriage. Can change the behavior you have. As I am a pastor, I am an apostle. But there are altars that survive for me to fall.